Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Chief Long Socks, and I hope you're all doing well. Today, we are playing some For Honor Story Mode, and we're going to be playing through on Realistic. We're doing the first mission of the Knights Campaign, Warlords and Conquerors. It is on Realistic, and the thing to know about Realistic is that the enemies are a little tougher, and there are no combat uh, UI or HUD or whatever like that. So uh, you don't get like notifications as to where attacks are coming from, so you don't have the block indicator. You just have to be able to tell by their attack stance. So it's a little tough, but it should be a ton of fun. So let me load it up, and then we'll get started. That day that I learned I was working for the wrong warlord. Hervis dubbed me. Defend the walls! The day that I met the Blackstone Legion. And Holden Cross. Come out! Dominey! It doesn't have to be like this! Keep them off the walls! My lord. Ugh. Break it down! Break it down! I need to get moving. All right, guys, we are in. Let's do it. First mission. I'm gonna talk over anything that's not a cutscene, so just accept it. These two guys want some of this. Oh, we're down. Help! Now we're fine. Spoiler alert: I played this already on an easier difficulty, so I know what's gonna happen. It's like I read the future. Uh, oh, I forgot. We gotta do a whole, a whole tutorial mode in here. Okay, we're just gonna get through this real quick. Block, uh, lock on the enemy, blah, blah, blah. Yes, 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 yes. Change guard modes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Easy peasy. Block attacks. Yes. So as you can see, no indicator as to where we're being attacked from. But it's kind of easy to tell with most of the characters. You know, you can see that they're clearly in the stance for an attack from the right. Over here, attack from the left. Pretty simple. Not a problem. All right, there we go. All right, now we just got to block attacks. We don't know where they're going to be coming from. Oh no, so challenging. All right, we did it. Light attacks. Okay. Heavy attacks. Oh, you blocked it, huh? Nailed it. All right, next objective. Kill the captain. Oh, we can't... I can't do any stunning action? Okay. We'll just club you in the face with our giant sword, sir. Rest in peace. Oh, it's all over for you, buddy. Uh, so as you can see in the top right, I am level 19 already from uh, playing the campaign through with my buddies uh, when the game first came out. But uh, I have not beaten it on Realistic, so this should be a ton of fun. Let's see what happens. I imagine it's going to be challenging. I played it a bit, and I definitely got my butt kicked on some of the missions, so I thought it would be interesting to play. Uh, this guy just got demolished, so that's no problem. You? You want some? It's all over for you, buddy. These guys are like... Every uh, faction has like their fodder guys, like you fight in campaign, who are like instant one hits. Then they have their like middle tier guys who are not heroes, but they're a little bit more challenging. Uh, well, challenging is a pretty uh, bad word to describe these guys, because they don't do anything. They're pretty, uh, pretty terrible. But uh, yeah, things do definitely take a couple hits, and uh, in realistic, they're not as easy to take down. Some of the actual like AI heroes can be kind of tough. For some reason, you'd think on realistic they'd be super challenging, but they're not nearly as bad as they are when you fight a bot in multiplayer. Uh, probably because with realistic, they don't want to make it like super killer hard, because it would be really tough to block every attack and be able to hold your own against like a level three bot, for example, without your like HUD stuff. So that's probably why. We're just gonna mow through these guys real quick. They're like, like the life of a minion here is just sad. You just walk into battle, someone comes up and just cuts you to pieces. It's all over for you, and that's that. Ooh. Oh dang. 
I really love the story in this game. I had a great time playing it. I banged it all out on day one. I stayed up for like 24 hours like a fiend and played the whole thing. So it was really awesome. Oh, we actually have a, a warden here. That should be exciting. As you can see, they're not anything like they are in, you know, actual bots to fight against. They're pretty, pretty stupid, actually. And goodbye, your head, sir. All right, let's keep moving. Get wrecked. It's all over for you. All right, moving on. Excuse me, sir. Okay, have a nice night. Have a good nap. Go to sleep. It's all over for you. Uh, and you know what? If you're playing Unrealistic and you ever struggle with it, uh, like I said, I'm level 19, and you get a lot of perks. Like, for example, this heal perk I have, you can see in the bottom left of my screen, is very, very useful. So if I take damage, I can heal up almost to full health completely. So something like that is very helpful. So if you're struggling with Realistic mode, definitely play through on an easier difficulty and level up your story mode feats. You'll get a ton of helpful ones, and it makes playing on this difficulty a lot easier. Alright, you, you need to go, buddy. Good night. You, you're just nothing. You guys, just run away. Just leave. I don't want to have to do this to you. Oh, it's all over for you guys. Alrighty, let's come over here. Ooh, get down, man, get down. Oh, we're thinking. Oh, so badass. Epic. Oh, Lawbringer, huh? Man, those guys are a pain sometimes, I gotta say. But, anyways. Through the breach! Through the breach! This first mission, uh, first mission is actually pretty, pretty simple. Like, for realistic, it's actually quite easy, so it's really not that hard. Jump attack! It's all over for you. Okay, you want some? Oh, it's all over for you, stupid. Get out of here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. These guys are just dumb. Oh, yeah, blah, 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 I'm out of stamina. Yeah, 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 we all know how it works. Don't need to tell me twice. Good night. And goodbye. Ooh, crushed them. Alrighty, alrighty. Hold the castle from invaders, which means slaughter waves of minions, probably. Like so. And you. Can you please die? Please and thank you. Good night. Anyone else? No, you're all done. Next wave, please. Good night, gentlemen. It was nice knowing you. For the five seconds that it took me to cut through your pathetic armor. Because these guys are literally lame. Ooh, cutscene time. Ooh, that badass battering ram. Punch it through. Dun dun dun. Ooh. Oh, it's all over. Why would they even challenge that man? Dominate! Dominate! Show yourself! These Epic showdown. To die. Trial by combat. Right now. What? Fight you? That's not a trial. That's an execution. Hmm. He's scared. Then fight my second. I'd be like, no way, man. You. You will be my second. All right then. <laughs> so all right, I guess. I guess I'm down. There would be a slaughter. I should turn subtitles on. Next episode. Ooh, ooh, cheeky. All right, this guy, like I said, it's gonna be not too hard to handle him. Probably just a bit of a grind because he has so much health. He's like the first boss guy. You shouldn't really have a problem with him if you're playing unrealistic. Really not that tough. Yes, he is also a warden.
and club, club, and I'm still doing great on stamina. And bash. The fun thing about uh, campaign is that you get to play, or story mode, whatever it's called, is you get to play as every character, you know, uh, which actually can be a downside sometimes if you don't know. Like, for example, I have not played the Warden once in multiplayer, but because I've played the story through, I've kind of gotten a little familiar with it. So, uh... So, uh, stuttering over my words because I'm trying to sword fight. So, you know, you get used to some of the characters, but it can be a challenge if you don't know how to play them and you have to do something like fight a boss. It can actually be kind of challenging. Uh, but you're all, it's all over for you, buddy. Rest in peace! Ooh, good night, good night. Objective completed, we did it. Cutscene time. Ooh, we killed this guy. Still at their mercy. It will not do for a knight of the Blackstone Legion to be defeated by a common mercenary. Oh, he took his sword. This isn't looking good. Although I know what happens, so I'm Neil. cheating. Valor in battle, for honor and service, I, Holden Cross, raise you. Stand, Knight of the Blackstone Legion. Oh, he wants us to join him. And it looks like we're down. Ooh, new sword, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Sorry, buddy. Here, you can have this old piece of garbo. <laughs> Let's move out. Come on. That was how I joined the Blackstone Legion. Later, fellas, we're out. Alrighty, mission rewards. We should get a nice little hefty chunk of XP. Uh, 800. We still need a lot more to level up. Cool. But that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching the first episode of For Honor on Realistic Difficulty Story Mode. That was Mission 1 of the Knights Campaign. I will catch you next time, and I'll be sure to put on subtitles so you guys can listen to it as I talk like an idiot so you don't miss out on story. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy, and see you next time. Take it easy.